the second thing I want to discuss before we start is land spirit offerings, which I have for this morning and which is the next thing I'll do. Land spirits can be very, very helpful in a retreat like this. Therefore, I highly recommend that you make a little offering to the land spirits. You should do that at the beginning of your after breakfast session. Just a little thing like this. This has a beverage and some nice crackers and cheese and fruit. You can put on it whatever you think your land spirits might like. There are two plates because my house has two directions in which to offer, in which there is nature. And then on the other two sides, it has houses right near. If you are in the middle of nature, you might want four plates, little saucers, little tiny beverages. So on the website should be the text. I posted it in chat. And it's also posted in chat. You will want to do that, your little plates, and some people might have only one direction with nature. Maybe there's a busy street out front, but there's a little backyard and houses on either side. So it goes to the back. up to four, depending on your physical setup and where your land spirits are. I'm gonna show you how to do it. You need a bumpa, but if you don't have a bumpa, a teapot will do. You put pure water not distilled water, good drinking water in it with saffron if you have any and blessed medicine if you have any. If you're using a teapot, in the top of it, you place a non-poisonous flower. Take off the lid and stand a non-poisonous flower in it. So when it's time to use the bumpa or the teapot, you pick up the flower or your peacock feather thing from the top and you sprinkle. Let's see if I can do it like this. The offerings. I will be doing that after the first prayer, which is repeated three times. And after each time, I will sprinkle the offerings with the blessing. Oh, my God. 
Now, while I do the rest of this, Nyando is going to take those out for me. But if you are alone, you would complete the rest of this, and then you would take them out. You would take them out to the natural place, and you would toss the contents of the cup and the saucer up into the air towards the nature spirits. You would retain hold on the cup and saucer. Then you would return the cup and saucer to your house and set it down somewhere. The tone of the bell will change after a few times. That will let you know it's been accepted. <laughs> 